Hey guys, today we're going to make a master mould for a flat prosthetic. First thing I'd do is append cube 3D, delete your sphere, press W to have the gizmo thing open, and then squish it down on the Y axis and stretch it out to encompass the shape of your sculpture. So you've got that. Next thing, duplicate. So call the duplicate sculpt. Change the color here and go fill object, which will be different for you because I've got a custom interface. Next thing you want to do is dynamesh this sculpt plate. So resolution 200, dynamesh and you'll get this. So you want to deflate it by minus one. Now, if you turn on transparency, you can see it inside of the original plate. Grab your move tool, hold down alt, and you can just start to drag out a little bit of thickness there. I'll speed this up so the video doesn't go for an hour. Something you can do to make the edges a bit more organic is get a clay brush tool, something like clay, even a standard brush, but just get the, get an alpha like this one here and just lightly go around the edges. You can either hold alt to dig in or normal click just to extend it out with this sort of irregular edge. Then just go around and smooth that off. But not too much. Get rid of these sort of floating islands here. The dam standard and the inflate tool or brush are very good for this stuff. So you just carve in with your dam standard, then get your inflate, turn down the intensity, and you can get some cool results. Pop out some of these edges of the cut. So I'll leave it at this for now. Maybe just go to deformation here, add a little bit of noise. So let's call this done. So we'll move on to the flashing and the wall. So you want to select your original plate, the first one. And obviously we don't have enough room, so we'll just scale that. So it encompasses everything comfortably. And then to do your flashing, around here you go clay tubes so that's B C and select clay tube snap and just go go around maybe that's too thin so you just increase your brush size a little bit also what you can do is to make these this tube actually dig in which is what you want go brush depth and move this just below the line while you have clay tubes selected so draw that again And there's your flashing and to get rid of this line you want to click away so click here and now you've got two separate poly groups and you can go go to split here in subtool and groups split click OK now you've got Got your flashing which I'll change the color there's your flashing 
if you need to change the position of it just go top view turn off perspective get your move tool and just get a bigger brush size or smaller depending on the situation but just move that something like that now for the wall I would append another cube 3d and squish that down make it encompass everything turn on transparency have it encompass everything like so and go to geometry z remesher detect edges make sure that's on and um, click half so it halves the amount of points on this so it simplifies the shape keeps these nice uh, corners and then What we're going to do is use BZM, which is a Z modeler. This is something you need to practice with uh, a lot because it's a very useful tool. And you want to basically select the edges by holding down Alt, click and drag to select the edges, but it's still still not the right shape so let's move it this way that looks better but let's give it a little bit more room and squish it in this way so these outer squares are going to be your wall right so just go select these holding down alt Sometimes you select the edges accidentally as well, so just be careful. So with that selected, you simply just click and drag. Um, but what I'm going to do is a little bit different from just clicking and dragging. You click and drag, and then click Alt. Press Alt and it will separate from that original plate and then while you've got your mouse over one of these purple squares hold down uh, spacebar make sure Q mesh is selected and poly group all not a single poly or anything else poly group all so it just targets the purple squares pull them out and there's your wall separated from this plate which we're going to delete now by clicking auto groups and that separates uh, anything that's not connected to different poly groups and control shift click on your wall that'll hide the rest of the plate and click delete hidden which will be inside geometry modify topology and delete hidden so really you want to make your own interface with all these useful um, buttons in a convenient spot otherwise you're clicking a lot of tabs so here we go we've got our wall it looks all over the place but all we've got to do is make this original plate make that bigger just make it huge so it encompasses everything we'll cut the cut the excess off later and then select your other subtool your wall bring that down so it's going into that and there you have it we're nearly done what you can also do 
to make it demolding this thing easier is kind of bevel these edges or put them on an angle. So with your Z modeler tool, brush selected BZM, hold your mouse over one of these lines, these edge edges, hold down spacebar, select slide, edge loop partial, and just drag it back a little bit. Yeah, we could do that to this one, maybe all of them. It's not perfect, but it will definitely do the trick. Some of these ugly corner bits you can fix with selecting this point with Z Modeler, brush active, hover over it, press spacebar, slide, and then you can slide it to where you want. The next thing you would do is merge everything you see here into one subtool. So we've got four subtools. So you'd go merge visible, which you're going to find in subtool merge merge visible, and then you'll get a new subtool here. And here we go. Now that it's all in the one subtool, we will go control shift and trim curve. You can also use knife curve but sometimes it you get unwanted results. So try both but I'm going to go trim curve holding down control shift and then you can let go of shift once you've activated it to get a more free movement. So where the dark side is is where it's going to cut. So we're going to cut off this chunk. And that's pretty good. Make sure your perspective is not on, because if perspective's on, you're not going to get an accurate cut. It won't be a straight line. It'll have a bit of an angle to it. So perspective off. Cut this. and hold down space to move this as well and then let go to pivot from this original point so let's go with that that's good whoops let's cut that and that Pretty good. Once you've cut everything, just go to Z plugin and decimation master. And basically, what we'll do is reduce the polygon count to make the file size smaller. So you can go 150k, that's pretty reasonable. You can go less, but just have a look at how much detail you lose. It is pretty good. It, it's, um, I mean, obviously your sculpt's going to be more detailed than this. But see, it doesn't actually remove too much detail. And there we, see, this can happen as well. This is what can happen. It'll have some dodgy stuff happen. Um, what you can do there is actually Dynamesh this at a high resolution. 1200. So there we have it Dynameshed. It's gone a little extreme at 10.8 million points. So what you want to do is probably go a lot less than 1200. Um, but what I'll do now is decimate it again and you're going to have no problems with any holes in the mesh. So 
if you're decimating from 10 million to 1500 you better go and make yourself a tea because it'll take a few minutes there you have it so the only thing we have to do is scale this so press W and then click the gizmo 3d and then you'll have your transpose tool instead and then click it again to get back to gizmo so you get your transpose and you can actually measure your sculpt so that's 3.1 centimeters says up here in the top left um, I think that's probably too small so let's double that so you go down to export and put the scale to 2 it was at 1 so that should really be double now that's 6.3 centimeters in length it's a good tool the transpose tool so you can measure your wall how high that is that's eight millimeters um, and the overall size of the whole master mold is 10.7 centimeters so then you just simply go up here and export as a OBJ and the rest is uh, slicing. So there you have it, a master mold of a flat prosthetic. There's many different ways to do this, but hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.